<laughs> Every two months, these men, East Africa's presidents, meet to push the integration process. They pass decrees like the one on free entry of Uganda's sugar into Kenya. In fact, this meeting, mid last year, met to resolve this issue for good. But alas, the sugar issue has not gone away. Uh, we saw that, that, that last time you were talking about or referring to had solved the issue once and for all. Unfortunately, just about three to two to three weeks ago, we heard that our colleagues from Kenya, Kenya Sugar Board or something like that, are saying we are not going to allow in any more sugar from any other partner state. By the actions of the presidents, it is understood that there is political will. So who is to blame when an issue like that on sugar persists? Bureaucracy is always supported by politics. If, for instance, our dear president here doesn't want something to happen, will it happen? I don't think it will. Political will plays the biggest role in as far as all what we do is concerned. And thus persist non-tariff barriers despite the signing of the protocols. Recently, for example, we had, uh, towards the end of last year, we had 100 trucks stuck at the port. And for no real serious reason, because the single customs territory, as you possibly are aware, we now have URA at the port of Mombasa. Now, once URA had cleared and said, look, these goods can proceed for warehousing in Uganda. And then the Kenya Revenue Authority said no. Mistrust and perhaps resistance to change still exist Africa talk about barriers when it should be purely business, despite the gestures of the heads of state. Someone said to him by NTV, business.